Hey guys, happy Friday. I am, oh no, it's Thursday. Happy Thursday. I am going through the girls' drawers and you guys, it's insane. So I told you guys already that I got a bag already set aside with all of their preemie stuff. Oh my gosh, you guys. All of this is preemie stuff. So much stuff. Like, so much stuff. I don't know if y'all can see inside of that. Huge bag. But now I decided to go through their drawers and it's pretty much getting empty. They're five months, but they've been wearing these newborn clothes this entire time. But it's time to tra transition the newborn stuff out. Most of the stuff they've only worn once. And it smells so refreshing. But I think I'm going to keep... A, one preemie outfit one newborn outfit for their memories am i doing too much but i don't think so but i still have this whole closet oh shoot y'all all this has to go y'all see all this preemie 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 all this has to go some of this stuff has tags on it still as y'all can see there's a whole cute thing right here oh this is so cute tags and all oh you guys but everything else, three months, and then a few newborn. What's this? Is this newborn? No, this zero to three months is just on a preemie hanger. So I gotta be careful because some of this stuff is just on. Okay. Good thing when I went to Target, I got mostly everything three months. It was only like two things that I had got that was newborn, or maybe two or three things, but they already wore it. So it's time to get that up already. <clears throat> We're just gonna put it in that red bag for now. So we should separate the um this is so cute. I thought I want to keep what's the shirt that I just said was hospital memories? Right there. No, the other one. With the little um Burt's Bees logo. It was like a white shirt. Is this it? Oh there it goes. So I remember this distinctively when they were in a hospital as a matter of fact remember those shirts that they used to always wear in the NICU oh the NICU shirt should I keep that one yeah so what does it say something like a boss should I keep that one yeah because that's in that bag oh well, we can like frame it yeah um uh, yeah they were so small you guys I remember when they came home and they like this thing was like swallowing them up. My girls are big girls now. They grow so fast. That's why I gotta keep it for memories. <laughs> okay, so I remember this shirt too. Yeah. It smells just like them. Surviving the Nikki like a all this stuff has been washed up though. We're good to everything has been washed since back in here. I go through that um pile. Well, we know all of this stuff right here is uh mm -hmm. newborn. All of this is newborn over here. Yeah. So we already know that though. But the thing about it, though. I remember when I had these. This just a few weeks ago. Literally. And they grow. They look really cute and yellow. Styled by my mommy. Oh my god. Styled by my mommy. I want to hold on to everything. Okay, we're gonna just put these back in here for the time being. So these are just regular tops. Pajamas is gonna go. The onesies are gonna go. We don't have no more onesies. All that's sure. gone. They still can't fit their shoes and headbands though. So I'm anticipating this. Those are. I gotta see this side. I keep forgetting y'all. Cute little shoes. Let's see. These are. I don't even know y'all. It's not size inside. But I think they were three, zero to three months. Maybe they were zero to six months. But I'm just eyeing it. Whenever their little feet can get into it comfortably, that's when they'll be able to wear it. But you guys, so that's just all going on right now. Just sorting through clothes. And yeah, so Jai Bear went back to sleep. As soon as she was done with her bottle, getting a wash off. And this cute little outfit. Trying to make sure they wear all their stuff before they can't fit it. 
Because they're growing so fast. What you, yeah, okay, I'm over here now. What you got to say? They like, they really like that conversation we had last night. You got some stuff that you want to tell them today? Uh-huh, you finished your bottle, and then you wanted to sit up, and both of you guys are doing amazing sitting up, if I do say so myself. You're welcome. You're welcome. You want me to turn the show back on? But this is Mommy's show. Mm-hmm. This is Mommy's show. Y'all, I'm over here watching The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Believe it or not, your girl... Has never watched an episode. I just, oh, okay. I'm telling them, this was way before your time. You wasn't even here when this show came out. You know, Mama? So you didn't really miss it, miss it? Uh-huh. Yeah, you didn't really miss it, miss it. Mommy missed it. This started years ago. I'm on season three. Oh, my girl is starting to have a poop. I hear it loud and clear, but I'm going to let you have your piece, so we're going to focus back on me. But anyway, so a lot of people told me to get a tripod. I wish I had in there. Y'all, I don't even want to show y'all this. But I also, I don't know if people keep saying it's dark in here. The other camera, the Canon G7X, had a better. You know what? I should pop this thing right on out the thing and start using it. But this is kind of short, so it won't even be it unless I put it right here. The lighting angle is better this way. But it's the car that I wanted there because he just called me, and it's the com it's a completely different color than what we talked about. He's talking I ain't about. Worry about it, baby. I'll get you. Okay. I'll get you. I'll get you the color you want. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna call him right now. All right. All right. This is the same people that's on sand. They don't want me to have this dang on car, y'all. Like, when I tell you I'm going back and forth with these people, I tried to record the tail end of the conversation, but it's like, geez, Louise. Oh, y'all, don't mind my mess. Let me turn this way because y'all don't want to see that I just finished eating. And my mama bought us dinner trays or bed trays. What are those things called, mom? Bed trays where you eat your food. But anyways, y'all, so the dealership called me again. There's like three different people on the team that's been e emailing me. But I got frustrated because the other guy earlier called, well, first of all, they called yesterday and said the car was ready. Then today, no, then he said he was going to call back, didn't call back. Then, so that's when I decided, okay, we, well, the girls are dressed, let's just go do something. And then I thought of the jamboree thing at the top of my head. So we took them there, blah, 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 blah. Then he calls me later on around like seven something and it's like, okay, we're ready. I'm like, I have two kids. Like, no, like they have their bedtime schedule. I'm not about to come do no paperwork or none of that this time of night called this morning and he's telling me the wrong color i'm like we didn't did all this stuff and it's still the wrong color so as y'all just heard he's saying he's not worried about the color so you're not worried about the color because you're about to give me any old thing you're not worried about the color because you have the right color i'm confused and he's talking about they're trying to not pull everything yeah because i told him don't run my social or none of that other stuff again because y'all already did that weeks ago you already have all the information in the system and that's y'all not gonna keep running my credit when y'all already saw i have great credit so hopefully y'all I can go get my mommy car today. I did have another car that I wanted. And then at the last second, I looked at another car that I thought would be a better fit. I didn't like the inside of, should I, did I tell you the first car that it was? Oh, oh, I didn't tell. So the first car was going to be a Mercedes. I don't even know the, it was a, the truck. It was a, one of the trucks, but the truck, I can't think of the last part of the Mercedes, but when I test drove it, I loved it. I felt secure i've driven jeeps and trucks before when i nanny because the moms all had that and whenever i had to pick up their kids they already had car seats in their cars so i just drove what they wanted me to drive i just drove their car so i'm cool with doing it but i just wanted to make sure i felt comfortable so the mercedes that i test drove was great however i did not like the inside of it like as far as like the systems and you know different things like that i love how my car is and I felt like that truck wasn't better than my current car here you go mama so I switched to the car that we're talking about now but in the process of them taking this freaking long time I submitted my information to another dealership another different type of truck and they haven't gotten back to me with the deals because I'm not playing any games y'all this is not like I've gotten a new car every year since 
I first started getting cars. I had a 1996 Toyota Tercel, then I had a 2006, then I had a 2013. Now I have my current Audi and I've had it for a year and a half. So the car that I'm about to get is supposed to be more permanent. So I wanna make sure I get the best deal. My APR rate for my current car is really, really good. It's like slim to nothing, simply because I had great credit when I got my Audi. So I didn't really have, excuse me, high interest. So I'm like, we were trying to work this out. Obviously my car costs twice as much as my Audi costs currently, but still, that's why you have to make sure you have good credit. But we were just trying to deliberate how much I'm supposed to put down. Then I had to talk to my accountant and she had gave me some advice. Um, it's just been a lot y'all that goes on behind this. So hopefully like y'all just heard him say, I can come and get this freaking truck today. If not, I'm gonna be like screaming. Y'all, Journey the, gonna be the one to come home from school. I saw this, um, what is it? I think I just saw a post. It wasn't like a meme or anything or a meme or whatever you call it. But um, it was like natural hair girls who go with their hair all slicked up, hair all laid down and stuff like that. And then they come home like this. <laughs> y'all didn't even, I, did y'all see her hair when it first got combed today? I don't think so. You wanna show them your massage that you was just getting? Um, we do baby massages. Oh shoot, I can't even do this with one hand. Uh, hold on y'all, let me try to prop y'all up and see. Let's see, can y'all see right here? Yes, they can see right here. Ooh, falling over, mama. They've called back once, update with the car. They've called back once since I spoke to them earlier. Journey, mama, yoo-hoo, hey baby. What we do? Bend our legs, we straighten them out. Bend our legs, we straighten them out. Bend our legs, we straighten them up. Bend our legs. We straighten them out. Just make sure we got proper mobility with our joints. Yes. You like that? Mm-hmm. And you guys, sometimes when they're about to go to bed, I do massage their temples. So another way to get your baby to go to sleep easily is when you lay them down and your preferred method of laying them down, safe as possible, you will insert the pacifier into their mouth. And right now we're just transitioning so that they can pretty much only be on pacifier when it's time to, for them to sleep so that they can know the difference. Um, but yeah, so they, if they're crying throughout the middle of the day, I still will do it. But for the most part, I'll try to transition it. They don't really need it as much as y'all can see. They don't like, you know, some babies, they need it no matter what, but our babies don't need it. But anyway, so th when they're about to go to bed, we will put the pacifier in their mouth, and as um, they begin to suck, we will gently go like this. Can y'all see? I'm over here. Let me hold the camera because I don't know what y'all can see or not. The camera all propped down. So I would gently go like this to the, their eyes. She's like, this is not sleep time. And they will keep suck, sucking. And once they st when they keep their eyes closed for at least five seconds, I began to massage their temples. It's very relaxing. Even to you, an adult, is very relaxing. So imagine how it feels for a baby. Um, and then sometimes they may open their eyes again. So you just repeat, repeat, repeat. Their pacifier may pop out of their mouths. You put that back in there. And you just keep doing it until they fall asleep. But we're not going to sleep right now, mama. Okay, guys. So I just went through a few comments. And I noticed that a few people were saying that they wanted me to get the old camera back. But... That's not going to happen because this camera quality is actually better. I do know what you guys are talking about, about it not being as bright. That's because, like I said, the, hey, mama, are you up now? Hey, baby. I did notice that, um, or I do notice that the other camera allows more light to come in in low lit settings. However, I'm going to fix the problem. I'm just going to start turning on my bedroom light and opening up my blinds so that you guys can see a lot better. Because if I do a side by side comparison right now, I'm going to turn on, I got it downstairs from Babe. I'm going to turn on the Canon G7X. Oh, mama. Hey, baby, you don't want me to show them the difference? Oh, what the heck? See, it's this freaking focus thing going on back with the Canon. Okay, so I'm doing a side-by-side -side comparison right now of the Canon G7X compared to the Sony A6400. And I'm going to show you guys the quality comparison. So, yeah. I look so washed out in the other footage. Um, But I'm going to play around and potentially... 
light it light it up because when the girls are sleeping they do their schedule um the lights have to go out by a, cer by a certain time and i don't turn it back on until the morning because they have to associate nighttime with morning time and all that other good stuff so i apologize but i did want to go ahead and insert the footage because your girl paid a decent amount of money for this good quality sony it's just you guys the lighting the was really um the lens not the camera itself so if you guys want a lens that's going to allow you to film in low light settings then all you have to do is get a lens for that however i had to get a lens that was going to be best all around for vlog purposes because i'm going to be using my camera mostly for vlogging so that's that now i did have this oh yeah so I'm still re watching the housewives and I couldn't find any moments that stood out to me um within the last few episodes that I watched but I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all who my favorite character is and that is Nene you guys I absolutely love Nene it's something about her personality um everything like I just love her type of personality and yeah so I'm pretty sure a lot of people if I could guess I would think that y'all would think my favorite would be Sheree like Sheree. I would definitely say a lot of people would think my favorite character would have been Sheree or maybe even Phaedra. Now that I'm watching season um season three now that Phaedra's there, I would definitely say would I say Phaedra? I don't know. Cause she's a I wouldn't consider myself like a Southern but like she can she truly considers herself to be a Southern Bill. Like if y'all saw her baby shower and all that other stuff, I am not even nowhere near. But Oh no, because I got a charade. I love charade. Don't get me wrong. And everybody is entitled to think the way they want to think, be who they be with who they want to be with, and live how they want to live. I don't care. Live your best life. It's not my life. You live yours. But charade just comes off as like it's like when it comes to relationship. Let's just start right there. Like how she was saying. Well, if y'all didn't watch, I mean, this is so old. If y'all didn't watch it, I'm not even spoiling nothing at this point. Like we both got to catch up. But anyway, charade is more so um like she's talking about so 60 40 when it comes to when they ask her like what do you think about relationships she pretty much want to marry somebody like you have to be able to take care of her you got to be and not just like six figure salary she wants somebody to take care of her like she really really thrives off of the finer things in life and although i do like the finer things in life i personally like i don't know like i don't feel like I don't know. I don't really know how to explain it because I don't really know her. And this is, you know, they edit how they want to edit. So I don't really want to say the wrong thing about her. Um, and I like Sheree. I like Sheree. But I think I've asked a few people already like, oh, who do y'all think I would like the most? And everybody's like, Sheree. I'm like, why is, it, why is everybody voting for Sheree? Um, Kim, 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 Kim. She just got to stop talking to this married man. I don't know what the rest of the seasons hold. But that's the only thing about Kim. Other than that, she's so funny to me. Like, she, with her little white lies. Like, she's so freaking funny. I'm like, girl. She talking about she didn't go kiss that man. And she was like, roll the footage if I did. They rolled the footage of her doing it. And she's like, I didn't even kiss nobody. What are you talking? Like, looking right at it. Then she gets her little one-hit wonder. And she's just acting like she's just the freaking new... I don't even know who I could compare her. I'm just like, what the heck? But I do like her. I think she's a really funny girl. Nene, I think she's so funny. I think she's so raw. I think she's so personable. She can be a little extra at times, but I just really like like her energy around everybody. And, you know, just how she can be. Like her mannerisms, I really like her. Um, what else? I like Lisa. Lisa had a really... I think I would... In real life, like, Lisa's, like, about her business. She's about her relationship, making sure her man is happy, um, taking care of things, like, not just sitting back letting people take care of her. But also, like, don't cross Lisa because Lisa can show you a whole other side of her. Because when I saw the first reunion, like, I didn't think Lisa was going to, like, start being snappy and stuff. So, I would definitely say maybe I could have been a Lisa. I don't know, but... Overall, I like all the girls. They're all, you know, great, amazing women. And I'm just watching, so I can't really have any judgment over here, which I'm not judging. But I'm just telling y'all who my favorite is. But y'all, baby girl is ready to be picked up. <laughs> so I'll um, be back a little bit later. Okay, guys, so the girls are going to say goodnight, including myself, because I have some things. You're going to tell them goodnight? But I have some things that I need to handle, um, some business things. But you guys, oh yeah, so let me go ahead and vlog again. The sun is almost set for the day. It's probably going to be setting within the next 20 minutes. But I was looking back at the G G7X footage and I'm like, 
I know I used to be washed out on the G7X, but I don't think I was this washed out. And come to find out, Babe had it on the wrong setting. So let me go ahead. Oh, Dry Bear is not here for it, for the quality. So obviously it's definitely brighter on the G7X. Definitely more brighter. Um, but I still, see, mate, now that I fix the camera, I don't know, because if I turn up the brightness, I don't remember how to turn up the brightness. Oh, I just fixed the ISO. But I definitely see what y'all are talking about now. Now that the sun is set a little bit more. But I don't know if I turn up the brightness on the 6400 will. It's still, I don't know. Because the quality is definitely much better at night as y'all can see on the g7 x okay guys so i messed with the settings and then i got a little too nervous so i just flipped it right back to what i know um works but i don't know if i should just go ahead and um you know, here i know it's nighttime, but i don't know if i should um uh, look at y'all y'all can't even see but jive is holding the um the string of the girl you're sucking on this passy for dear life but um I don't know if I should just use the G7X at nighttime because that's the only time there's a problem at night or if I vlog early, early in the morning before the sun comes up because throughout the day, like I said, I just turn on the bedroom light and open up the blinds so that you guys can see more. I'm trying to make sure that y'all can see because I know y'all are like, I don't want to just be looking at dark footage and I don't want y'all to be looking at dark footage too. Is this the, guess who's calling? The freaking car place. This is why I like, I don't have the car, y'all. Y'all like, what's going on? Because, like, look, I can't go up there now. Hello? Hey, Keith. Yeah. Hey, so, I'll tell you what I did on, on this deal. So, I called. You cool? You got to you talk? Yeah, I can talk. But they checked all three bureaus. So, they say your highest bureau. It'll be like, I think it's only like 799, if I'm not mistaken. But once we get that squared away, right. will I be able to pick the... Well, I won't even be able to pick up the car. Well, it just depends on what time I'm done with my hair tomorrow and doing some other business endeavors. Um, it'll probably be later on in the afternoon. But will the car be ready tomorrow? Yeah, you just got to let me know. I just got to make sure we're more like the... Uh the car that you guys looked at, what's, what's wrong with the car that you looked at? The, Nothing. the car that you had before? Is not, I want the car that I looked at. It's just that he called me with the wrong color. And that was the whole purpose of waiting because I wanted... <laughs> the main thing is, like I said, is if you can afford the car. Correct. So we know that you, you can afford it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I just told him, I was like, I'm a, um, when I get out, and I didn't stay up in there because they had other people in there. I was trying to get out there and I do like, I was coming in in the morning anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be that first thing in the morning at 9 o'clock. Well, when you get there, send me a picture of the car because there was also the specific wheels that I had request, requested as well. Hey, you guys, like I said, I'm going to go to my hotel tomorrow, go get my hair done, and then uh, hopefully go and pick up my car as we just heard. If everything is squared away, I'm not driving off with what I don't want, and I'm not going to let anybody give me what I don't want. But anyways, y'all... We'll let the girls say goodbye with all their spit bubbles. Say goodbye. Say goodnight, mama. Say goodnight with your pretty face. Good night, Journey. Good night, baby girl. Let me move this because it's like it's cutting off your head. <laughs> Good night, baby. Oh my gosh. You guys.